Hi, in this video we are going to talk about the PoE problem from the TP-Link EAP series access point. This is the outdoor version. You also have the same problem from the indoor version like the EAP610. Some customers say it works with the standard PoE switch and PoE injector. The others say it doesn't work. So we have ordered four units. And we have burned out two units before we find the problem. Let's just make the connection and see what, the, what kind of problem we have. Okay, now this is the still working. We have burned two, but we still got another two. It's working. Now let's just connect the Ethernet cable. And let's try the PoE injector, this small one. We only need to use the PoE port. Plug in, the PoE is working, right? Now like this one, you can see the access point is getting the power. That means this is, it's five. Okay, now let's switch to the large one, this one. This is the PoE++, new PoE standard. Plug in, you see there's nothing happened. The PoE jet re refused to send the power to the access point. Okay, here you have a long run PoE switch. Let's also try this one. These four ports belong to the long run. It can run up to like 500 meter PoE. Let's connect to it. It doesn't work, right? There's no power. Okay, let's try one of the regular PoE. Now it's working. It's quite strange, right? Even for the same PoE switch, some of the port is working, but the other doesn't work. And the problem is, you need to first, we need to understand a little bit about the standard PoE. In the PoE and PoE Plus, actually, only half of the twist pair is being used to send the power. So let's say we divide this cable in two groups. But who decides which pair to send the power? Actually, it's the PoE switch or the PoE injector. But the, for, the, for the IP device, like the SS point, the IP camera, it needs to be able to tap in whatever group you take to send the power, which means even you use the first group, you use the same, second group, should be fight for the PoE access point. But PoE, typically do one thing. Actually, it only use the first group to take in the standard PoE. That's the problem. He's using the second group to work with the non-standard PoE, actually it's the passive PoE. Why? This is the PoE injector coming from the TPN, it's original one. If you check the voltage input, it's too small, but you, if you read the specification, it's using the DC 24 voltage. Actually, it's the non-standard PoE. Okay, we know there's one thing, one problem with this kind of design, but TPN try to satisfy everybody. So he tried to satisfy with the standard PoE. He also tried to satisfy with the non-standard PoE, like the passive PoE. So he split the two group, one for standard, another for non-standard. But now they call the, pro call, call the problem. Because uh, it, standard PoE, you should be able to take in no matter which group I send the power. For this one, actually it's satisfied because it's using the, like the first group. But for this one, why it's not working? This is the new standard, like PoE++. Actually, it's using all four tricks pair to send the power because it can supply up to 90 watt. So all the four tricks pair is being to use to send the standard PoE, which is up to 40, 48 volt. But now, you see when we connect this cable to the, to the PoE access point, not only the first group, the second group also try to supply the power, the standard PoE power, and it detect there's a problem because it cannot accept the standard PoE, right? So it refused to send the power. Okay, for this one, why the, this port can power this one? Also because it just used the first group. But for this long range port, actually also use all the four twist pair. That's the reason why it can support long range up to 500 meter. So it's not work. And now the conclusion is, if you try to supply this access point, you need to make sure your PoE, the power pin is just the first group, not the second group. Also, it doesn't work with the, like, the new PoE standard, PoE++. If you connect this device to any PoE++ 
POE switch or POE jet, it, it will re refuse, to, refuse to release the power because it detects the other group cannot take in the standard POE. Okay, why we burn the device? If we are using this positive DC 48 voltage PO injector, this is a positive one. So it will send the power without the power negotiation. It will send the power directly to the second group because the voltage is about 48. But this one only can take in the 24. Now it burns two of this equipment. So what I'm saying is TPN try to satisfy everybody, but he break the standard PoE protocol. It's supposed to take in all the four twists pair, but now either first group or second group. But now it only can work with the first group for standard PoE. So now that's the problem when we come up with the, this kind of set setup. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question about the, this PoE SS1, please leave a comment section below. See you next time.